Okay, hi everybody, fellow audience and collectors of Toys TV and Figure Talk. This is Rhino episode 67. Okay, today you won't see my face again. It's good, yeah, right? We can we can focus on the products. Tonight we bring you the damn toys. FBI, right? FBI SWAT team but from San Diego so all the comic fans should aware that is San Diego so that's maybe the place you visit every year and maybe you guys collectors love there really much because every year you will get the first hands and uh, lots of great news for you for all the comics movies TVs toys collectibles premium statue anything so this guy should be the one to protect San Diego this is just my imagination but actually even though this is a imagination concept of the SWAT team of FBI in San Diego I think it's still a very very cool looking figures and because of this I no need to show myself and also at the same time I focus on all the details and you guys military collectors you should very familiar with the details and the quality and standard of them toys at the same time for you guys not familiar with those military stuff you just say wow 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 it really doesn't matter but this is a very very good looking figures lots of accessories a lot of details very accurate scaled, authentic, very serious research and development, at least one semi-automatic rifle, one shotgun, it's a new kind of shotgun, and a lot of pouches, accessories, you can see all the details, the batches with unit name, unit symbols the rifle with all the details and can be disassembled that means you can customize your rifle you see all of them are very detailed and we can see the helmet and the light vision go-go unbelievable details and accurate many small parts and details including the painting is very good I'm not sure the, the night Google vision the night vision Google can be have LED but I seen some products they have real LED that means it can be you know you see the light through the goggles so anyway, it's already very good for many of our collectors. I think for myself it's enough. It's good enough. Um yeah, not to not to scare you. We spent more than two hours to assemble this figures. Of the look now you are seeing. We spent some time and we should have some knowledge of military at the same time we should have some patience and efforts firm hands good figures stable good eyesight so for military stuff or military figures this is not a freshman or layman level it should be advanced level for all the collectors they are interested because the factory and the brand won't assemble it for you if even though they assemble it for you it would be very fragile and disintegrate so this is a must you should have your own knowledge spend some time to study the real wearing or using of the accessory and pouches for the weapons what is right or wrong you should have studied well before you assemble it certainly if you don't mind you just display it at home 
it really doesn't matter if something is really warm. But and as I know that I am also a military enthusiast collectors. Um I understand that all the how to use the accessories and equipment is really depends on the soldier or the policeman themselves. So there should there should not be a rule that what is right and what is wrong in 100 percent level that means you should have your own style to customize your figures you should have your own way to wear the equipment or carry the equipment but some common sense of military information should be needed like the ammo pouch most likely is carrying ammo right and we cannot put the silencer or some different things in adversely direction and for example the short pistol or the small arms should carry in a very convenient way for the militant uh, for combat when they are they cannot use uh, rifles or shotgun they use pistol or life or daggers that should be a very good place that they can take it out in only one ten seconds otherwise they will lose their life so it's very professional to play with this kind of military figures but it is always very interesting it makes a good hobby for myself and you know uh, you learn a lot and at the same time you you can you know use some time leisure time with a lot of happiness and you can show to your fellow collectors or family members how's the real life policeman or SWAT team when they are on their duty anyway this is really really a good looking and you know professional standard of 1 6 scale figures describing a Midnight Operations Special Weapons and Tactic Team of San Diego Police Department FBI Anyway, oh Very very cool when I saw this I say wow I have to spend two or three hours but Actually, thanks for my colleague to making it assembled and he spent a lot of time and effort thank you thank you and thank you for watching figure talk of toys tv my name is rhino episode 67 this is stem toys um fbi midnight ops swat team of san diego very very good looking thing. and see you and bye I hope you enjoy this and I hope to bring more military military figures to you guys for your watching for, for you to take reference before you make a purchase and for you to take a reference for different standard of different brands and what the brand strength etc and you could see that every figure is worth the price you know yeah think about that if you do it yourself how much it will cost so don't say that oh the figure is too expensive right yeah it's not a cheap product and it's not a you know close to luxury goods so we should spare some money for this if you don't want to spare this kind of money you should spare your time to make this customized figures I think most of the audience here they should know what to do but you know we have to spend time right okay Thank you, Damn Toys, to make this Maleficent figures to the market. Very, very good one. Again, yeah. But do you have the time to make it assemble? We don't know. But see you. Bye bye.